Hello everyone, welcome to Baby Rugby on Forever Sport. And some breaking news, Mark Herpenstaden has been invited to train with the Springboks in and amongst a whole bunch of other players uh, who will start another two preparation camps as the Springboks really start to now kick up their uh, Rugby World Cup preparations. Uh, the World Cup is set to get underway in September and uh, the box will have six games before then. They'll have three rugby championship matches which will take place in July before uh, Rugby World Cup warm-up matches against Argentina, Wales and New Zealand, um, which will talk, take place in August. Um, but yeah, a whole bunch of players that have been added to a, well, they have been invited to a preparation camp. We're going to go through the press release. We're going to look at some of the players in a little bit. But before we do that, uh, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right, so this was released uh, a little bit earlier. And they, it says that the Springboks will assemble in Durban in May for two preparation camps with the purpose of getting their on- and off-field structures in place for the 2023 international season. The first camp will take place on from Wednesday the 17th to Friday the 19th of May, so it'll be next week Next week, um, before the following camp will run from the 29th of um, Monday the 29th to Wednesday the 31st of May. Uh, 15 players have been invited. It excludes players from the DHL Stormers, obviously, because they are currently preparing for their, sem um, their semi-final, which will take this place this weekend. Um... But it does include players that are um, um, Japan-based players who are also sort of back in the, the country. Um, so uh, this is what Jock Nyoba had said about it. It says that um, the composition of the squad uh, for the council will include a group of 15 players from local Vodacom URC teams, as well as uh, some of whom are coming from injuries and a few Japanese-based players who have completed their club commitments. So obviously not all Japan-based players um, are back, but um, some of them are. And uh, these uh, camps will be held in Cape Town and Cinemarsh, respectively. And um, then there will be our first full training camp in June, which will be a preparation for the Rugby Championship in July. Um, and they will include both on and off field sessions. Um, so this is what uh, Jacques Nyoba had to say. Uh, he said that with the, with the Rodecom Rugby Championship nearing an end and the Castle Lago Rugby Championship around the corner, we decided to host two camps to get the ball rolling and get everyone on the same page for the international season. The camps will include both on and off field sessions and they'll be offered us a great opportunity to get the building blocks in place for our first full on training camp in June in preparation for the Castle Lager Rugby Championship. Um, these camps will build on those we hosted in Cape Town Stellenbosch at the end of February and March, which will include a bunch of locally based players. Um, he, said that with little four, uh, he said that with a little over four months to go for the World Cup, uh, every day with the players counts. Uh, the Castle Lager Rugby Championship is around the corner and then we have three warm games and the World Cup. So we have very little time to get our plans in place and ensure we peak in terms of our performance to give us the best possible chance to defend our title in France. This is a crucial season and it is imperative that we make, we take, uh, make important strides in each batch we play and grow the team stronger together. And uh, so, so there we go. And in terms of the teams, which uh, I mean, the, the, the players that have been called up, these are the following names it is the Kanyam, uh, Kurt Lawrence, uh, Peter Steph to Toy, uh, Thomas to Toy, Ibn Etzebeth, Jaden Hendricks, uh, Sir Khaleesi, Vili Larue, Marcus Oloma Pimpi, Bongi Manambi, Kanan Moody, uh, Oxen Chair, Quaka Smith, Mark of Starden, and Grant Williams. Uh, so, Grant Williams and Mark of Starden, players who kind of find themselves a little bit on the fringes. Uh, haven't really played a lot of matches for the box in the last few years, um, but are very much sort of potential Springbok bolters for the World Cup. And I think Mark Herbert Staden, um, in particular, a very interesting uh, selection because obviously there's sort of all the, the question marks around Sierra Khaleesi and who would replace him. So the fact that he has been re-added to the squad um, is, is an early indication, I think, that he is a very viable option. Jaden Hendricks are also recovering from a long-term injury. Grant Williams being included is quite a... Uh, it's good to see, I think... We knew that he was always probably going to be an outside chance of going. Um, but yeah, obviously no, no, no Stormers players. So um, it's you, quite a few players they're missing. They know the likes of the France, over Stephen Kitsov, Damien Phillips, um, you know, your Marvin Ori, for example. But I'm just uh, in and amongst you. Know, it'd be interesting if Mike Levock would have been invited, for example, Hershey Yankees. So uh, no Stormers players involved, no Lions players getting the call up as sort of expected as well. But uh, yeah, I said it's interesting to see that uh, Marcus Starden's involved. Uh, good to see Grant Williams. He's been, I think, for me, probably the four number nine in South Africa over the last sort of URC season. But uh, obviously, it's not a final, um, uh, you know, uh, squad or anything like that. 
So still lots can, can change before the, when, when the first squad gets announced, probably uh, towards the end of May. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Please do smash the like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Um, do you think Markov Start is a viable replacement for Khaleesi? Let me know. And uh, what do you guys think? Are any other players from any of the, the current unions, the Sharks, uh, Bulls, Lions, um, that could maybe have been included in the squad? Let me know down in the comments below. Please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven. I'll chat to you soon.